Streaming from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 4 p.m. Digital Edition. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to 22 News at 4. I'm Ciara Speller. We're going to get to your top four stories at 4 in just a moment. But first, we have a look at your traffic and your weather. We have Jack Wu with the 22 News Storm Team. Jack, we're hearing some rumbling going on right now. Yes, we are, and those thunderstorms are making their way throughout all of western Massachusetts. Let's take a look at how that's going to affect traffic. Taking a look, we can see that right now traffic isn't too heavily affected at the moment. We are seeing a little bit of a backup on 91 going southbound, but the major thing to talk about is that crash on Route 20 westbound near Charlton that is causing some backup as there as you're going closer and closer towards the center of Hamden County. But other than that, we do have our usual construction spots southbound on Route 5 between Holyoke and West Springfield, as well as some construction on the Mass Pike near Westfield. And we're looking at Palmer as well. Mass Pike going westbound near Palmer. We are seeing some construction there as well. So the regular backups minus that construction, but the rain today could definitely cause some issues. Taking a look at our live camera in Springfield, we do have a severe weather alert in place and we can see those thunderstorms in the distance that are making their way through Hamden County at the moment and we are under a severe thunderstorm warning until 4 15 p.m. Here it is. We can see it's mainly affecting parts in southern parts of Hampshire County, central parts of Hamden County, as well as parts of Franklin County as well. This goes until 4 15 p.m. today, but we will keep you updated in case they prolong it. There is also a severe thunderstorm watch that goes until 8 p.m. this evening that is going to be mainly in Franklin County as we are expecting some more storms to potentially roll in. There's also that heat advisory that's still in place until Friday. These warm temperatures haven't gone down significantly just yet, but we do have a heat advisory throughout all of Western Massachusetts until Friday. Also an air quality alert for eastern parts of Hampshire and Hamden County that goes until 11 p.m. this evening temperatures at the moment. We're seeing those 80s, which but we are also seeing some 90s in places where those thunderstorms haven't hit significantly. Places like Orange and Springfield, places we have to watch out for because it's still pretty hot outside. We are looking at a lot of 80s where those thunderstorms have rolled through. Berkshire County, we could see not as affected by the rain. 93 in Great Barrington, 91 in North Adams. And if we take a look at our clouds and radar, we could see those thunderstorms forming in upstate New York. We have that line and it's moving eastward towards Western Massachusetts. We'll be covering how long this is going to last in Western Massachusetts with the 22 News Storm Team Skycast in just a moment. Now for your top four at four, a woman from Chicopee has died after she was struck by a vehicle at, by a hit and run in Hartford late last night. Just before midnight, police were called to Main Street. Officers found the victim suffering from severe injuries. She died at the location. The victim has been identified as 40 year old Lutretia Daniels from Chicopee. The suspected vehicle described as a red Honda Accord was later located by Connecticut State Police on 384 engulfed in flames. No arrests have been made. Jurors in the Karen Reed trial heard from the defendant this morning in the form of voicemails that she left on the phone of her boyfriend, John O'Keefe. The voicemails were recorded during the time that he was reportedly dropped off on Fairview Road and when his body was discovered the following morning. Following the voicemail, state trooper Nick Guarino testified as to why the Apple health data from O'Keefe's phone said he was moving after he was allegedly hit by Reed's car. Due to satellite that it's basically a pedometer. So the movements of the phone, the distance traveled, it's going to register as steps. You don't have to physically be walking and moving the phone for it to register movements. Another witness, Mr. Lally, that also this morning, the trial judge ruled that the defense witness test or rather questioned on Tuesday will be allowed to testify. The judge also said she wants the jury to get the case by the end of next week. A full day of court is scheduled for tomorrow. And excitement is building in Boston. Officials say they're expecting at least a million people to flood the streets for the Celtics victory parade. The NBA champs will hold their rolling rally through the city, celebrating a record breaking 18th banner coming home to Boston. Festivities start around 11 tomorrow morning, and you can watch our live coverage from Boston on 22 News starting at 5 a.m. 
RFK Jr. will not take part in the first presidential debate come next week. CNN, the host for the debate, announced Thursday that the independent candidate failed to qualify. The network said that Kennedy did not hit their polling threshold of 15 percent in at least four approved national polls. He also fell short of the network's ballot criteria, which required candidates to secure access in enough states to win 270 electoral votes. All right, checking back in here with Jack. We have a weather advisory, lots going on out there. Tell us what we can expect to see. Definitely, we are expecting these thunderstorms to roll through this evening. Let's take a look at the 22 News Storm Team Skycast. Now, this is set for 7 p.m. this evening, and we could see a lot of those thunderstorms we're experiencing have passed for the most part, but they still might linger for a little longer. But by around 10 p.m. Thursday evening, not expecting those to be as much of a factor, really just a lot of that cloud cover and maybe an isolated spot shower going into the morning on Friday 6 a.m. Seeing a little less cloud cover, but Friday is going to yield some similar results as today. 12 p.m. Friday afternoon, seeing some of that rain already making its way, but it's really around this time going into tomorrow. 3 p.m. on Friday, expecting some more potential thunderstorms and showers to make their way into the Pioneer Valley, and that is even more so a factor going into around 7 p.m. on Friday. We'll be updating you with how long these thunderstorms could last with the 22 News Storm Team forecast. A new report shows that the use of weight loss medications has soared in Massachusetts in recent years. According to the Health Policy Commission, over 300,000 prescriptions were filled in 2023 for weight loss drugs. The drugs were initially intended to treat type 2 diabetes, but are now commonly used for weight loss and management. The HPC says the increased demand was partially fueled by the FDA's approval of Wegovi for weight loss in 2021. And drug maker Eli Lilly is suing six more entities, including medical spas, for selling products claiming to contain the active ingredient in its diabetes drug, Zetbound. The lawsuit alleges that the entities are falsely claiming that their compounded versions of the drug are approved by the FDA. Lilly is the only company with FDA approval to sell Zetbound, which which it received late last year. The agency has also warned about the safety risk of using compounded or custom made versions of popular weight loss drugs. And now for a look at what we're working on for 22 News starting at 5. A murder suicide in Wilbraham this week led to the death of a mother and her son. How local church members are remembering those victims. Plus today marks the summer solstice, the official start of the summer season. Astronomers from UMass Amherst explain how this event occurs. And we're also at the State House in Boston with climate and plastic bills. One more look at the traffic. Our main concern, this accident on Route 20 westbound near Charlton, which could delay some traffic, but give yourself a little extra time on the roads tonight as we are expecting this rain to continue. We'll let you know how long the rain lasts with the 22 News Storm Team forecast. All right, Jack, thank you, and thank you for joining us for 22 News at 4. You can join us live on TV starting at 5, but you can always get your local news and weather updates anytime on WWLP.com and the 22 News mobile app.